I'm from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries, one heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our Chica Chica, Chica update, update from Belwarde. They are gal. If you're new to this channel, keep watching. Every Monday night, we're posting a new Chica Chica, giving you updates on what's been happening with us for the, throughout the week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you do get a notification when we post new videos. Thank you. So, we're giving you an update. That, yeah, this one's been a little bit long in the coming. Yep. We are still definitely adjusting to life in the Philippines. Correct. And, and we're, we're getting it down. We're getting a lot better with this stuff. Yeah that this is kind of an example of that we've realized that we needed to prioritize some things. Correct. And before we left, we talked real bad about it. We're living with Mama, Papa, Dudong and his wife. Yeah. Uh, their son and Uncle Utik. Yeah. And a helper. So we're basically nine members in a house. Yeah, we, we've got three and a half, three plus families. Yeah. And we've had roommates for the last two years. Yeah. And it, it, it's a cramp on us. And we knew that we were going to need to do these. And, and life happened. Yeah. And they didn't get prioritized. And it finally got to the point where we had to go. Yeah. And after being here for the two days now. Yeah. So our takeaways are... <laughs> These need to happen yeah. regularly. Yeah. So we need like at least two to one week time time away from them. You know, we need to retreat, recharge, whatever we need, we are. Need, we need a couple time. Relax, refreshment, recreation, <laughs> recharge, retreat, whatever R is that. <laughs> we need some R and R and R and R R R. Okay. So now we're here. Um, with the R's. <laughs> okay, what was happening for the past few weeks? That we actually did manage to finish building uh, Cindy's aunt's house. Yeah, up in the mountain. And we're gonna be getting a video of that together here in a little bit with, with what I did manage to get. Yeah. Our, our poor sunshine <laughs> yeah. wouldn't make it up the hills. So we, we you managed to get up a couple more times than I did and got some video. I managed to get up a couple times. We had to uh, arrange a ride with a, with a guy that had a multi-cab that was able to make it up. Yeah. And the couple times that you and Mama went. We did a hobble hobble. They did hobble hobble. This fat white guy is not getting out of back of one of these little motorcycles with some idiot going up there. <laughs> so that was two. I've seen the way these guys drive. <laughs> so that was two weeks of um, uh, building, you know. It's, yeah, they did real good timing on that one. We're so grateful because the people there helping, volunteering their time, like volunteering their uh, materials, like the bamboos, you know, if if we knew like without their help, that would be really, really expensive. And yeah. we're thankful for the people that helped us, sponsored or, you know, so to get through and finish us as quick as we could be after the three days of heavy rain up in the mountain. And, yeah. and it was like always God timing because the moment they built it the following day, the house, the old house collapsed suddenly. <laughs> so it was just the perfect timing that we went there and built the house. So yeah. we'll take a, we'll show you a video, uh, just a, po a picture of it, you know, on the, on the new house, before house and new house, right? Yeah, I've got a couple of those good pictures, a couple of good pictures like that, that I'd like, now that we've got Rusi back, yeah. I'd like to go up and do some drone shots in that area before I do the video, include that. Yeah. And it, it, it's actually a really cool place. I might be able to do a moto vlog on the way up on yeah. Rusi, so. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll check on that. That we also went down to Enchanted Mountain. Yeah, Enchanted Mountain Resort in Delegate, and we have a video. That I did do a little video here. I'll put, look for the link up here, and we'll yeah. also put a link in the description to that video. Yeah. Uh, it was a really cool time. Uh, again, family. it was family time. After the um, build house, <laughs> it was good because my papa and uncle Hutek Dudum was helping up 
going to the mountain every day and every single day and that's like almost 30 to 4 or 5 minutes um, ride up with Habal Habal up in the mountain so it's kind of like really tiring some days if you go sometimes because the road is like it's dirty yeah, and it was road. more than once they came back in the rain yeah it was like pouring out rain and then what else um um papa's health um yeah papa we finally got his blood pressure under control yeah that that, that is a huge good thing and and we discussed to to uh, give how much the costs for medical before well yeah we're actually gonna uh put together a video on that yeah. on um how much as much as everybody's is? comfortable sharing it on, on Papa's health experience and that process and it was compare comparatively to America it, it was incredibly inexpensive yeah so um, it's like um, we will give you an idea just a tentative idea on how much the cost of um, you know do medical checkup do laboratory exam and all ECG, MRI, and so on and so forth um, without medical insurance here in the Philippines. Yeah, because we, we did this entirely out of pocket expenses. Yes, it we wasn't, did. And it was much less than most co pays were. That we've got a friend back in Phoenix. Yeah. That her son uh, had to have an MRI. H had to have an MRI of some kind. I'm not entirely sure which. Yeah. And our entire expenses were less than their co pay and they have very good insurance so you know yeah. for just a single MRI so um that's actually what, what else what, what else do we what are the things that they're looking forward from us aside from the cost of expense in the Philippines the, for medical tomorrow you're, you're actually gonna get this after Christmas but tomorrow is Christmas Day this is Christmas Eve yeah and we'll have some video of Christmas Day. Yeah. And then either in between Christmas and New Year's or right after New Year's, we're going to take a couple days and there's a bunch of things that we need to take care of and get accomplished in Cebu City. Yeah. So that's going to be our next trip. Probably, I'm leaning to probably after the first of the year. Yeah. And then we're planning also to give a quarterly budget cost of expense living here in the for, Philippines? For quite a while in the U. Well, not quite a while, but for four or five budgets. Yeah. That I, I gave quarterly budgets in the U.S. Yeah. And so I'm going to start doing that here in the Philippines. Philippines. This quarter it is going to be a little bit odd because of all the setups, all the unexpected yes. medical costs. But it's going to be, you know, it's going to be real. You know, yeah. Those things do happen. So we're going to put a status, uh, like category, like, okay, this is living with nine <laughs> members you know we're telling you okay how much the cost if you have nine people living in a house uh set up costs like the tools kitchen tools and a project like unexpected project that we did for a kitchen project you know? yeah that we built uh dirt well we didn't build but we covered a dirty kitchen that they had yeah and expanded it we, we got them the gas burners yeah uh, some pots and you know that they re they re-cemented the floor yeah. you know, th there was a you know a fair amount that we did mm -mm. Uh, helping that get set up a little bit nicer yeah and comfortable uh, for us to and make them happy so we also bought a lot of Christmas decorations Christmas lights not Christmas decorations well, it's not Christmas you know ornaments or something I have a different perspective on Christmas decorations Christmas lights okay, okay we bought Christmas lights <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so that's just the two of us real talking here, okay? That's like our normal day-to-day -day arguments. Wrong answer, whatever. So Perspective-wise, so this is the real chica chica here. That yes, we do have some arguments some days, and I'm getting grumpy. <laughs> that's the reality. So. Okay. Yeah, the grumpy was getting excessive, hence the trip. <laughs> <laughs> what else? But, uh, what else? Um, what do we got coming up? We still do not know when we're going to be able to make it to Blah Blah. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, there's been another YouTuber that, that did get over there. Uh, they didn't go to Malai Blah. I'm not sure where they went, but they I did go know. to Mindanao. Mindanao. 
and they had a two week quarantine at a family family's pl compound yeah and so we did talk with one agent one travel agent or uh, ticketing agent in Cebu uh, he said because mom and papa own property that they, they would be considered locally stranded individual yeah and so that they we could go back under that under those rules which are a little bit less stringent and so but that stuff's changing with the vaccines coming out yeah. they're talking about needing a vaccine to travel in or I, we don't know we're, we're still in that process but it is something that is still on the plate and yeah. we're just not sure where on the plate at the moment <laughs> yeah so right now that's just our, our uh free view overview whatever <laughs> But for right now, we're having fun and we're enjoying Cebu. We're enjoying living in Cebuna. Yeah. And we're going to start doing this a little bit more often. And yeah. uh, we definitely still enjoy the family trips, going to Enchanted Mountain, going to Delegate yeah. Beach. So overall, um, we're what's... going to start taking trips between just you and I. So, so, so start looking for a few though. more of these. Yeah. And but the most important thing is we are grateful we are here. <laughs> yes, we are hugely grateful we, we are, here. are so grateful to experience, um, or, you know, just watching the waves of the ocean and, you know, so we are grateful we're here. Um, yes, there are pros and cons coming here in the Philippines, but overall we are so much joy. We have so much joy. Very much so. We are here. You know, yes, there are. We will not gonna lie that there are struggles some days, but we are grateful we're here. Yeah, we're grateful really that we get to spend time Christmas with our family, my family in the Philippines. <laughs> we're gonna call your family in the US, so our it's family in the US. And it comes down to anything else in life. If you choose to look at the positives, it's gonna be a good experience. Yeah. If you choose to look at the negatives, it's gonna be a bad experience. Yeah, it's like 10% is um, you cannot control you know whatever the happening you cannot control but 90 percent it's how you react on that 10 percent so choose be happy <laughs> be positive and leave life right and it kind of goes back to that thermometer or thermostat thing you know are you letting the environments control you like a thermometer or are you controlling the environment as much as you can like a thermostat correct see i like that so see we have totally different perspective or the words we say but it got to the point that in mathematics we derive the same answer we have different <laughs> formula equation whatever so that's actually it i'd say that yeah keep watching for next chica chica every monday is what you said every monday nights uh every monday nights <laughs> <laughs> I was going to give you a time that I was going to try and post them, but uh, well, let's just work on Monday nights for this point. <laughs> Ma boo hi! <laughs> Look at mumbling! <laughs> yeah, we started rambling a little bit at the okay, end. Okay, it's 10 minutes or 30 minutes. That's good. And then do you want to go um, 